did. But I hope you've all had a fantastic day at sea. And tonight, remember, we're going to give another hour back tonight. So before you go to bed, set them clocks one hour back once again. And tomorrow is our throwback sea day on board the ship. It's going to be an 80s themed day for you. We've got loads of fun events going on. And a lot of you are walking in, we're like, Marty, I'll see you for the mile tomorrow morning at 9am, because apparently we're all walking a mile tomorrow. So if you're up at 9am, we're going to be up there on the, on the running track upstairs, and we're going to walk a mile tomorrow morning at 9am. And then we've got loads of fun events to get involved in. Frog, uh, we've got frog racing, we've got horse racing, we've also got a knobbly knee competition tomorrow. We're going to find out who's got the knobbliest knees on board. <laughs> It's a real competition that's happening tomorrow. So you've got to keep your knees covered until the event, and then we're going to see who has the knobbliest knees on board the ship. Sounds like fun, right? That's going to be tomorrow up there on the leader. We've got so much fun in store for you. And, but that's tomorrow. we got tonight, first of all, and I know you're all excited for showtime. And up here, our performer has got to do extra work up here because of how it's working. But right now, he is all the way from the Gold Coast of Australia. He's one of Carnival's favourites, so please put your hands together. Welcome to the stage, the physical comedy of James Lamont. <laughs> I'm so. Do you like my bike? If I'm good, I get the other half next Christmas. I'll put that over there. Wow. Let me get a feel for who's here. Do we have any Aussies? Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. Do we have any Americans? USA, oi, oi, oi. You're all honorary Aussies. So when you reach Sydney, we're looking forward to welcoming you. Ah, it's going to be fun. All right. You know, the last time I was on this ship, it was rough. Rougher than what it is now. I mean, really rough. Six metres seas. Oh, I was levitating off the bed like Linda Blair from The Exorcist movie. Passengers were zigzagging everywhere. Only the drunks were walking straight. <laughs> I said to my, the cruise director, Marty, I said, Marty, I've only got one wheel and no handlebars. How am I going to stay on the seat? He said, why don't you take the seat off? <laughs> oh. So, uh, yeah, love this cruise ship. And as a bonus, they uh, gave me a cabin close to the buffet, but far enough away from the gym. <laughs> Did you know that 94% of, of cruisers are return customers? Yeah. That's why uh, Sir Richard Branson has jumped in on the game. He's expanding his airline empire to include cruise ships. All passengers have to be over 18 and a virgin. <laughs> uh, did you know you can get a, uh, a tattoo on Virgin Cruise Lines? I mean, whose idea was it to put a tattoo artist on a moving ship in the middle of the ocean? <laughs> can you imagine? I have a little butterfly just here, please. Whoops. Have you thought about an eagle instead? <laughs> My wife's got a tattoo. Love a woman who can make a decision, she knows she will regret. <laughs> I told her to embrace her mistakes. She gave me a hug. <laughs> uh, each kind? All girls? Spent the first two years teaching them to walk and talk, and the next 16 to sit down and shut up. In Australia, you're not allowed to hit your own kids. It's against the law. Doesn't mean we can't hit somebody else's. <laughs> and I've child-proofed my house, totally child-proofed it. Cost me a fortune. Hasn't worked. Somehow they still get in. <laughs> um, 
Oh, that's enough. I'm paying out on my family. But we're here to have a bit of fun of you. Are you ready for a new style of tennis? Yeah. Slightly unorthodox. I've uh, designed this one myself. I'll show you how it goes. Uh, something like this. Oh, yeah. Uh, I got it. Okay. Don't clap, let it build. The more you drink, the better this trick looks. Uh, uh, oh yeah, all right, okay. Uh, oh yeah, okay. Now, a good juggler, a good juggler can look away. If I put that about there, can you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. This is a really good trick, especially when it works. Especially when the seas are calm. <laughs> but my life is full of mishaps, so what's one more? So what I'll need you to do, folks, is just give me a little bit of um, support. Yes, I'll need you to perform what they call a slow clap. It goes like this. first cruise. My first cruise was in 1967 on the Fair Star, all the way from Southampton, England, to Fremantle in West Australia. Mum took us on a holiday, a one-way holiday. <laughs> See, Mum and Dad got divorced, and normally when people get divorced, they move to another suburb or town, 
Not my mum. She took us to the other side of the planet. Boy, could she hold a grudge. 